Thanks for taking time to click and happy Thursday. As you might remember, on Thursdays, we take a look at our upcoming gospel reading for the weekend. Here's an important verse for you. Jesus is speaking and he says this, No servant can serve two masters. For either he'll hate the one and love the other, or he'll be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. A little bit of context for you for this important verse. Jesus has just finished teaching a really difficult parable. Difficult to understand, difficult to apply. The parable of the unjust manager. Someone who was faithless and little and much. And Jesus reminds us that, hey, it's just true. People who are faithful and little can't trust them with bigger things. And the reason for that is Jesus makes clear here in Luke 16, 13. Because this is the issue. We get really confused about what things are for our good that should serve us or we should use to serve others and the things that des deserve to be our master. Here's what I'm trying to say. There's so much stuff that we have in life that's like this. Stuff that could be good for us because it's necessary and useful. But they become bad in our lives because we have them in the wrong place. Or we're out of balance. And to get things in the right place, to get in balance, the most important thing that we can know and remember and not only believe but try to have affect our behavior is that the first piece is the most important. God goes on top. God's the Lord, which means I am not, neither are you. God is our master. So the things that we tend to chase after, things like success, things like wealth, they aren't. When we get the right piece in the right place, and quick reminder, there's nothing inherently bad about wealth or success. As long as your life is ordered correctly. And the correct order is God's first. I'm at best second. Here are some things I believe to be true. Everyone in the world worships something. It's important that we aim our worship in the right direction. I also believe that everyone follows someone. It's really important that we make sure we're following someone who cares about us and has our best in mind. And from our verse for today, I think the reality is everyone serves a master. But thankfully, you and I know our master to be good and kind. And in serving him, we find our right place in the world. It's a nice thing that we serve the one who comes to serve. Doesn't demand servitude. Comes to serve and show us the way to. Person can't have two masters. Can't worship God and money. If you try, you'll end up bailing on one. But put things in the right order. Get your priorities straight. Make sure that God is first. And watch other things either fall into place or fall away as less important. Here's our closing prayer. The proper use of wealth from the front of our hymnal. Almighty God, all that we possess is from your loving hand. Give us grace that we may honor you with all we own, always remembering the account we must one day give to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As always, thanks for taking time. See you soon.